Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video. Today I'm going to be going over five of the worst spots to build a base with the upcoming update and the things that they have hinted at of what is going to be in this next update. So I want to point these out that way all of you who have bases in these areas or you guys are thinking about building bases in this area or are in progress of building these bases or especially if this is where all of your storage currently is in the game this is going to give you guys plenty of time to go and move it now i'm doing this purely to help you guys out so please help me out by going ahead and clicking that like button and also tapping the subscribe button and turn your bell notification to all that way you guys never miss any of the grounded updates and the other grounded information that i'm going to be putting out including other fun survival games as well all right so what i'm going to be doing today is i'm going to be flying around in my bug cam mode so that way i could just show you guys all five locations now I have a little list that's right over here that I can use in order to show you guys what the worst places are so let's talk first right over by me so let's hop in right over here we're gonna enter bug toggle mode and then we're gonna fly up here now location one worst place to build a base is on top of this pond up here there's a reason for this currently there's nothing in here Okay, there is nothing in this pond currently. It's completely empty. That is going to change. I'm not saying it's going to change immediately or what drastically it's going to change, but this is going to change. Why do I say this? Look, they've already gone through and pushed updates to this area that's right here leading to the pond. They have hinted at giving us the other pond insects into this next update that's coming out. So, if we're thinking that there could be a pond update that could come that would update this area right here and also maybe I, they haven't talked about wanting to put a waterfall in anymore they've kind of walked away from that idea but this upper pond area could be a very very poor place to build sadly my castle right here is right on the edge of this upper pond area and sadly that could mean that I could lose my castle now I'm completely okay with losing my castle I may have put hundreds of hours into this castle but i am okay with that because it means the game is updating all right location number two guys this is a big one is anywhere in the haze right now they are working on massive updates that are happening to the haze from moving it around to adding things to building new bases to all of that so building anywhere inside of the haze or i would even go as far to say anywhere pretty much where this fog is so from all of this that's over here pretty much the paint can all the way through here wherever you see uh this dead grass here along this area that's just a bad idea generally to build over in this area now you can see they're working on some stuff over here in order to make this garden area look better but what i would say is building a base over here you are very likely to get your stuff destroyed so if you have stuff over here i would suggest moving it now they may not destroy your entire base they have done their best to not delete people's built items in the game but it happens that's why i make these videos to make sure you guys don't lose all of your progress that you've spent so much time trying and perfecting your building techniques and getting all of your stuff into these areas the next area that i want to talk to you guys about is a very common place to build and you guys may be upset with me for warning you about this one and a lot of you are going to be like really sim you think that we should move our stuff away from this area and the answer is yes and that area is the picnic table I know a ton of people that have some of the coolest looking bases on this picnic table, underneath this picnic table, around the picnic table. I have seen some fantastic base builds in my Discord, on the Grounded Discord, and all sorts of other places that I have seen wonderful base builds over here. But they've already moved it once. They have a beehive over here that constantly is getting updates. Now they've moved this magnifying glass over here. Lord only knows what else they're going to be doing because this whole area right now is under construction. So there is a good chance if you have a base up here, you may lose parts, if not all of it. And if you have chests and they get covered, you may lose all of your items that are currently in those chests. So 
be cautious, move your stuff now. I think it's better to be cautious because the update is coming out in June. And now that it is June, it could come at any time. So giving you guys this heads up, I know a lot of you guys like to wait till the public test server comes out so you guys can see what all has changed. But if it's a drastic enough change, you may need a lot of time to move all of your stuff. That's why I'm saying, I know it's probably an unpopular thing for me to say, but I do believe that the picnic table is going to be a bad place for you to build. The next part that I want to talk about, guys, is this area right here. I know it's really awesome because there's not a whole lot here right now, and the option four could be coming up here and building but i will tell you just because there's not a lot of grass up here does not mean there's not going to be a big change up here they are talking this next update being the biggest update ever released and they have released some big updates look at the pond that was a huge update the flying uh, the flying creatures update the hedge the little pond the little swamp that's over there they have made some absolutely massive changes and they're saying this one is going to be the biggest yet so I would assume that this area up here is going to get revamped and if you have a base up here or if you're thinking about building a base up here, you could lose a lot of your base. So get out there, get your stuff moved before you lose it or if you are building over here currently, be aware there is a very good chance you are going to lose your stuff. So. Be on the cautious side. If you have anything rare in these items, let's get them moved. All right. Now, the last place. The last place I'm the most excited about, and I don't know a whole lot of people have built over here, but I'm the most excited about it because I've seen some of the changes that are coming to this area. Okay. And that area is the garden that's right over here. This garden is a bad place to build right now. First off, you guys remember how there used to be a bunch of uneven dirt in here? Well, it's still kind of uneven, but for the most part, it's flat. Now they have removed all the dirt out of here. The dirt used to come all the way to where this spade currently is. It's no longer there. So building in this area is bad because there's massive development going on over here there's going to be ant hills that come up over here that we've seen before that's why these rocks are here keeping you from seeing the holes that they've put in the ground that's why that they have all this being moved heck they even moved the entire garden over so i'm telling you this garden is a bad place to build i know a lot of people have thought about putting some stuff up over here and i'm hoping like heck that we get ourselves some sort of sand castle or some sort of really cool update in here but i know that there is going to be an ant hill that comes in and out of here there's a reason why all these rocks are here there is a reason why this is here it's because they are currently working on quite the large update for the backyard now if you guys kind of look i have given you guys a very general idea of where where most of the update is going to take place and that is more or less from the door here all the way down and up through the haze and back anything over in this area I believe is very subject to update they have talked about it they have shown a couple things off they've given a couple spoiler hints in the um, latest like dev diary that they sent out saying why there wasn't a May update they've kind of spoiled it a little bit about the things that are going to be coming if you guys missed that video go check it out on my channel I made a video covering all of it and talking about some of the things that are in the that I'm believing are going to be in the next update from the other dev world that I've been in and check things out I was able to piece some pieces together but guys just be careful I give you guys these warnings not because I want you guys to go and jump back into ground and because I would hate for all of you guys to lose all the progress that you have made in grounded so far in all of these locations now I know many many people who have very cool very large bases in these areas and there is a chance you're going to lose some of it but this is what i suggest get yourself an awesome community of friends all right get yourself an awesome community of friends that love to play grounded that way if you do lose some stuff you guys can get together with your buddies and come through and try to rebuild the best that you can a video that i'm going to be coming out with soon is going to be pointing out five things that you guys can use that are going to be needed for this next update so things that you can prep up and get ready for so you guys are ready for update 10.0 whenever they come out and they release it sometime this month but thank you guys all so much for watching this video if you guys liked it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below that you watch to the end. And I'll make sure I heart your guys' comment. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.